Hello and welcome back. Today we're ready to start working on the body. If you're new to the channel, I am documenting myself building my very first ever plastic scale model. And if you'd like to check out the first two videos, I'll add the link in the description. I used to help my grandfather restore old cars, so I actually have some experience in sanding and preparing vehicles for paint. And looking at this little guy, I'm going to need it. I started out looking for any imperfections in the surface and highlighting those with a marker. I then started with 600 grit sandpaper, trying to smooth those areas over. That's when I ran into my first problem. The material being plastic and not metal like a real car, I immediately started to sand off details that need to be left behind. So I grabbed a nail file I had laying around and modified it in order to get into those tighter spaces and then gave the rest of the body a good going over with the 600 grit. Using the nail file again, I started to remove any extra bits of plastic left over from the molding process. Again, plastic being much softer than metal, I took off a little too much on the, not the trunk, it's a, I don't know what you call the trunk, the lid, the engine cover on a Volkswagen Beetle. Maybe someone could leave the name for me in the comments. those done, we're going to move on to some of the other body parts now. I'm looking at the molding details on this interior piece and thinking to myself how in the world am I going to paint this I continue the process of giving everything a light sanding so that when we get to the primer, it'll have a little something to grab a hold of. Not, nothing visible to the human eye, but it just helps the primer adhere in an even coat. I'm also making sure not to sand off any more details. Moving on to some of the smaller parts. I'm cleaning those up with an X-Acto blade and a little sandpaper and then sticking them on a, a, it's an alligator clip with a stick. So I'm gonna call it an alligator stick. If you're new to this like I am, I can't stress enough how important it is to 
study the instructions before digging too deep into the kit. Because right there, I cut off a key component needed to glue that in place. I don't know if you can see it there in that shot, but but there's a little slot in that one piece that the other piece was supposed to fit into. And that was the only thing that would hold it in place. When mounting the pieces on the alligator sticks for painting, make sure you keep in mind what surface needs to be painted and what doesn't. Otherwise you could have a stick mark in the middle of your part. That's one of the back pieces to the front seat there. And I had to check twice to make sure which side the paint went on. I'm also using a little piece of tape that I roll in a tube and put the alligator clip through the tube and then just stick the part to the tape. The masking tape I'm using is just some off the shelf stuff from the hardware store. It seems to be doing the job. I know they make specialty tape just for plastic models, but I don't think I'm ready to spend money on that just yet. I'm not sure what all of these parts are just yet, but I'm doing my best to make sure I don't cut off anything else that's needed. This looks like some sort of a suspension part, like maybe where the front wheels attach. The detailing on some of these parts is actually very good. I'm really starting to see the appeal of this hobby. I've already spent several hours on this project and I'm really enjoying it. I especially like the attention to detail that's required to make sure everything's going to go together just right.
Off to my left, there's a, a part stand that I made out of three pieces of cardboard that I was all masking tape together uh, in a circle. And then with a small round file, I poked some holes randomly in the top of it, and then the alligator sticks fit right in the holes. I found a real spinny thing off of an old stand mixer that uh, just flipped upside down and the little parts stand sets right on top of it, making it uh, turnable. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. In the next video, we'll need to start painting and I don't have a spray booth, so we're gonna build one. That video is right here. Stay well till next time.